Welcome to the audio excerpts of special seminars and conversations with Nalan Narula on gettingpositivekarmanow.com. So what does uh, Diwali mean to you actually? Deepavali or Diwali? What, what do you think of it as? <coughs> hmm. Lakshmiji comes and visits, and then what happens? And what happens okay. after that? It should give you more and, more. <coughs> and what happens? Yes, illumination. Hmm? Uh, it's supposed to. <laughs> hmm? Yes, illumination. So basically, Deepavali means many lights. So the light of illumination has to multiply and expand, and as you say rightly, it gets rid of ignorance. Now, ignorance is something that you can choose not to be. You can choose not to be ignorant, or you can choose to be ignorant. And if it suits you, suits your existing condition to remain where you are, then you will choose to be ignorant, or to be selectively blind, and uh, voluntarily blindness, uh, voluntary blindness. So if you choose to be voluntarily blind, there is nothing anybody can do to help you. But if you choose not to be voluntarily blind, you can be helped. So, the festival of lights is the day when Lord Ram comes back and takes his throne and uh, from Bharat Maharaj. And uh, there is a celebration in, in form of the light returning to people's lives. So the light of the Divine, and it is not just Lakshmiji, because the light is actually meant to illuminate your wisdom or your clarity of vision. <coughs> so that is your third eye chakra. So when you have the light flowing into your third eye chakra and you are able to see with an illuminated Agnya chakra, then your life improves, then you can get all the information that you need to be able to improve your life, to change your destiny. So that is what you need to do this Diwali. And going forward through the year, if you connect with that understanding, you will be in a much better place, both internally and externally in terms of where you are in life. So more important is that you should have the basic necessities provided for in your life and you should be able to help those who are your dependents or who are your associates also to progress with you on that path <coughs> and wishing well to all of mankind and specifically those who are around you is the best way to fulfill the functions and the mandate of the illumination of your wisdom chakra. So moving forward with that, you can go through the year and make sure that this light also follows through uh, in all your actions, in all your dealings with people that you need to be uh, enlightened in a way that you have to take the long view, and the long view is simply this, that you have certain karmic debts to get rid of, and there are ways of getting rid of the karmic debts, that is by essentially understanding the true nature of the Divine. So if all methodology is actually leading you to the point of knowing the true nature of the Divine. It, <coughs> 
<clears throat> when you are in connection with the true nature of the divine, there is no place for ignorance and there is enlightenment automatically. And you liberate your mind. So the liberation of the mind happens and therefore the liberation of the soul also takes place. The soul is encaptured by the mind consciousness. And when that mind is liberated, then the soul is automatically free to shine forth even more and more than it already is. So whether you're using a healing modality like Reiki or the KQ Force or you're chanting mantras uh, for this age, <coughs> For this age, the mantra that is recommended is the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which encompasses uh, all the energy forms of the divine. Uh, Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that he advents in every age when there is a decline of religiosity and following of the spiritual principles. So Aham Srijami. Srijami means I manifest. And he manifests is different from taking birth. Like we know when we take birth, we take a body and we leave it and we take another body. But the divine is manifesting. He has his own eternal body which is constant. Although it can appear in different forms, it is not births. So one who starts to know the nature of the divine, starting with that, will also understand that the sound form of his uh, body is also in the form of the liberating Hare Krishna Maha Mantra as it is known. So we can just chant that a few times and help ourselves to <coughs> absorb those vibrations. So we will start now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So let us do this a few times. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. So basically, the meaning of this mantra is when we say Hare, we are addressing Hara, which is the innermost potency of Krishna, the loving potency, also from which originates Reiki. And Krishna means all attractive one, the one who is all attractive. He is complete in all the six opulences to the maximum. And those are very attractive opulences, your youthfulness, strength, power, fame, knowledge, and renunciation. So all these things are uh, opulences, aishwaryas, which he has the maximum of. And Ram is the, again the innermost pleasure potency of the divine and is also uh, referring to Lord Ram whose day it is today we celebrate his taking his position or place and the place for that is in the light of your heart and of your third eye chakra so if you place the energies of Lord Ram in your third eye chakra and your heart and that is the birth of compassion for all <coughs> because the heart chakra is got the compassionate energies as Lord Ram did. He uh, also showed extreme tolerance and renunciation and also at the same time a lot of power, a lot of wealth, a lot of fame and a lot of beauty personally and in his actions and in his behavior. So 
he is the perfect embodiment of all the qualities of the divine that we are talking of. So it is a very uh, special day today. Every year on this day, we celebrate the appearance of the divine in that form. And it has meaning because it touches the heart and it should touch your intelligence and your mind. And with that, use that light to illuminate your path going forward in life. So, I'm wishing you a lot of bright Diwali blessings <coughs> and for the year going forward. You've been listening to a discussion with Nala Narula on www.gettingpositivekarmanow.com.